Working the way you want isn't just about using what's available inside of Autodesk Inventor. Whether it's because you already have a design completed in 2D, or you just like the flexibility of AutoCAD for conceptual engineering and layout, you can use the tools that will help you get the job done best. With both Inventor and AutoCAD, you have the flexibility to start in 2D and finish your model in 3D without the risk of any rework downstream. Now let's take a look at importing a DWG file you've created inside of AutoCAD. Blocks created inside of AutoCAD are preserved inside of the Inventor file. And after importing, these blocks can be derived into separate part files that are then inserted automatically into the top level assembly. From there, you can apply joints or constraints between layout components or between layout components in existing 3D models to complete the model and evaluate the mechanical behavior. Taking the next step, building out a 3D model of parts designed in AutoCAD is a simple process. Start by placing the DWG file inside a sketch and then just project the geometry you want to use. You can even add dimensions to the sketch that can be used as a parameter later on in the design process. One example being a thickness parameter from a projected view that you can then use for an extrusion operation. And because the DWG import process is associative, any changes that are made in the original file inside of AutoCAD are automatically carried over to the features, constraints, or parameters used in the 3D model. Connecting AutoCAD and Inventor is just another example of how you can work the way you want, using the tools that's best suited for your individual strengths and preferences for each task.